Hey everybody, it's Ramona here from Connect Your Angels, and I'm here in beautiful Emerald Lake, British Columbia, and I thought, what a better place to do this week's reading. So this is going to be the reading for the week of uh, September the 15th through to the 21st. So I'm going to work with the Indigo deck this week. Go ahead and get started, and we'll see what comes up for this week. So I'll take this one, whoa, for the beginning of the week. Middle of the week and end of the week. All right. So for the beginning of the week, Mother Mary. Ah, very nice. So this is about um, the Divine Mother and that energy of helpfulness. And so some of you are so inclined to help everybody else that you do that to the detriment of yourself. So this is a reminder that the beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, you're going to want to pay attention to that and notice, are you giving so much of yourself that, you know, you're not refilling that cup, you know, you're constantly pouring out but not refilling. So take some time for yourself, you know, get out in nature, or do something that you enjoy that sort of replenishes yourself, that recharges your batteries and to know that um, taking time for yourself and self-care is not selfish, it's actually necessary and it's important to do that because if you burn yourself out, you're not going to be able to help anybody else. So keep that in mind for the beginning of the week, okay, for Monday, Tuesday. In the middle of the week, we have think about it, think about it. So as you head into the middle of the week, um, there's a lot playing on your mind. Don't jump into any rash decisions. Instead, take that time to think about it, but that's also saying, and this goes along with the self-care, um, it's about setting boundaries, too, and you don't have to give an answer right away. If somebody asks you for something and you're not, you know, you feel obligated because you're a people pleaser, um, you don't have to give an answer right away. It's okay for you to say, look, I need to think about it, and I'll get back to you on that, and only say yes to the things that you really want to do. A lot of times we take on things again because of a sense of obligation but that's not going to help you that's going to burn you out quicker than anything else so only take on those things that you absolutely want to do and if you're not sure say I need to take some time to think about it also this is about um, tuning into your guidance right so if you're not sure about what what way to go should I do this should I do that ask for that guidance and see what comes to you are you being guided to do a certain thing or to call somebody or to move in a certain direction Start to pay attention to the repeated thoughts, ideas, gut feelings that you have around that issue. So that's for the middle of the week. And then as we head into the end of the week, compassion. And this really is more about, again, the self. So this is really a week about taking care of yourself, for gosh sakes. Okay, so compassion, have some compassion towards yourself. You know, we're constantly beating ourselves up all the time, and it's not going to serve you at all. Stop measuring yourself. That's what they're saying, too. Stop measuring yourself against everybody else. You know, we think in our heads, at this time of my life I should be here, and at this time of my life I should be there, and da 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 da, -da. And if we don't quite meet those marks, we just really beat ourselves up and our self-esteem takes a hit. So don't do that and trust and know that you are exactly where you need to be in this moment right now and have some compassion for yourself and, and you know, um, don't carry those feelings of guilt and anxiety and all that stuff. You can give it out to the angels and say, you take that and I don't want to feel that. So make sure you're looking after yourself. That's a really, obviously, a very big, strong message that's coming in for the week. So do pay attention to that. So try to get outside, enjoy some beautiful scenery if you can, and we'll see you next week.